Guys, Wolfish here, back after yet another long break. Um, I do enjoy some analog horror games. Uh, just found another one called Home Safety Hotline. What can I say? I'll be working in a call center and helping people with their problems. Apparently you're supposed to be um, preventing home invasions or keeping customers safe. And um, you know, uh, from what I've seen and heard, uh, you do experience, I mean, you do see here lots of creepy stuff in this one. Um, D human DNA detected. Okay, what's this? Television commercial. Like the Windows XP wipe. Okay. So, you'll be working in a call center helping people solving issues or preventing... Uh, what does mold... Uh, how, how can you connect this to like black mold in shower and then fire or a natural, natural disaster like a tornado? Metam metamorphosis. Oh, there we go. So it's... Uh, classic element of an analog horror don't become as huh okay so uh i wonder if we'll be able to see some anomalies and stuff like that as well what's this log out delete safe and ce discord okay options what do we have here okay Home safe hotline. I guess it's time to sign in Monday. Oh, is it one of those where you need to survive throughout the week? Welcome employee to begin shift. Please clock in. Okie doke. No current callers. Thank God, bro. I've been there, done that. It's not the best feeling when a new inbound's coming in. <laughs> uh, what's this? Entry inaccessible. Bad bugs. Ooh, gotta love those. Bad bugs. Bad bugs are small insects known to feel. Yeah, they basically. Okay, incoming calls. Incoming call. Connecting. Okay, tell me. You are an HSH responder. As such, it is your job to learn about various household hazards so you can answer the questions of our callers intelligently. When a client calls, answer the call and listen carefully to their concerns. When you've diagnosed their issue, submit the corresponding household hazard and we'll forward them safety instructions to address their problem. Welcome to the HSH family. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Okay. I'll be advising people on how to deal with bad bugs that's the first call i get and then next call is gonna be about a tornado hey i need some help here my house is being destroyed by a tornado like what am i supposed to do yeah bad bugs are basically yeah they live in your clothes or mattresses your bed whatever and they drink blood black mold bees <laughs> what? Do you even get these, like... That is a bit creepy how distorted that is. Bro. Oh, thank God it's... Some kind? Coffee. Sounds like you've got some rat poop or something. Bro, okay. Just give me five minutes, I'll put you on hold. And the elevator music. Cockroaches.
Small insects. Yeah, we know that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't need to read any of this. Goper. What? Housefly. House spider. What do we have here? I wonder when uh, we'll get to, um, you know, deal with creepy stuff or paranormal, whatever. Termites. Oh, doesn't look like that. So he said coffee beans. Uh, do we get like... Uh, What's the maximum of amount of time we can keep people on hold? Cockroaches. Black mold. He said on the floor. Um, black mold? I don't see any rats. So I don't think it's gonna be rat poop. Mole. Raccoon. Okay. So... Uh, black mold in the kitchen, right? Send an info to your client. Info successful. Okay. Um. Okay. That's a weird one. <laughs> okay. They have even raccoons. Termites, consuming decay and plant material. Oh god. It's always like it's so so realistic. Every time you're dealing with a case, a call cam comes in. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> Lady, I think you, you've got some mental issues there. Okay, Please I'll check that for you. Something in the attic with an ee ee ee. What the hell? Well, if it's in the attic and it's um, wooden, uh, my first thought is maybe. Oh yeah, mice. Yeah, that sounds about right. Because I don't think you can hear, hear ter termites, can you? Don't think so. Yeah, there's, there's no... They don't even have a sound, so yeah, that's... You know what? I wonder if we could pick mice for the first one as well. You know, for the coffee beans on the floor. <laughs> um, okay, I'll go for mice. There we go. Yay! Like, bro, what is this job? Help, I'm hearing some... S <laughs> and it's actually like... Uh, the sounds she made is like... Those are pretty accurate. It's a good thing when you're playing a sound and when a call comes in, it just mutes the sound as well. What kind of an introduction is that? Like, Hank here? Wasn't anything to worry about. Well, guess what? There's more piles of crap in my yard. <laughs> I'm talking huge piles of brown out there. What the hell? You better not tell me it's nothing again. Because I know I've seen something moving out there. Tell me what it is. So <laughs> what the f... For all. Uh, bro... How am I supposed to help you? Okay, I'll put you in hold. If it's in the backyard, it, I don't think it's anything... Wait. Huge piles of crap. Um... I mean... I did see there was a gopher. Are small brown furry animals with enlarged frontal teeth burrows they can become a pest homeowners when they choose to burrow in their property commonly damaging gardens yeah so if it's a garden then uh either gopher or i'd also go for raccoons um rummage through garbage cans nests attics homeowner raccoons frequent garbage spills sounds at night okay um yeah i think it's gonna be the gopher in this case there we go.
Yes. Yes, bro. Yeah, like, as I, as I was saying, this is like so... <laughs> I wanted to say this job is so accurate. Um, every single time you want to read something or deal with a case. And this is accurate as well. Huh? I urge you to think more carefully on the answers you provide before we are forced to terminate. You are you serious? Bruh. You have been warned. Bro. I thought my answers were successful. Like, what do you mean? Okay. Bro, I just got this job. Does that mean I won't be able to pass my probation? Oh, there we go. John here again. I got beef with you. <laughs> Your people gave me bad. <laughs> oh man. Standard. To do with our problem. I'll be sure to tell our friends not to be bother Colin. Is it the the mole guy? Okay. So I guess that was a raccoon after all. So whenever I make a mistake, I guess it's going to warn me straight away, which is a good thing, I guess. Um, do I have any other options? When do I get to deal with creepy stuff? Oh, there we go. What's wrong with your face, buddy? What? Just calling in to inform me that your refrigerator has been running. What the hell? 45 to 90 minutes. Just when I mentioned something creepy. Oh yeah, oh boy. Hey, do you guys have a lawn mowing service or something? My good for nothing kid refuses to mow and it's getting real crazy out there. Looking like a rainforest over here. My kid is complaining about being too sick to do anything about it. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> the rest of this stupid lawn is giving me a headache just thinking about it. Can you guys can you send some guys up to get this done? Okay. That's not a question. Uh, I mean, it is, but okay. Let Please me put you in hold, buddy. What the hell? <laughs> Bruh. House spider. Oh, that's a new one. House fly. Gopher. Cockroaches. Carpenter. Ants. Bees. Bed bugs. Wait. I. So if I submit an answer, what? What? Huh? Bruh. What am I supposed to do with this one? Hey, do you guys have a lawnmower in the service? We don't? There's just... Bro, this is like an emergency hotline for... Dealing with, like, co cockroaches and shit. What am I supposed to do when you get a random call? Should I just guess? Can you send someone to deal with the grass? Mm, shall I go for the GoPro again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye, dude. Bye, my my <laughs> my guy. Info successfully sent to client. Good job, bro. What the? Your shift has done. Oh, thank God, bro. I'm done. I wish. I'm kidding. Um, okay. Clock out. Accuracy 25. What? Bro. How is that possible?
login in user guess human DNA confirmed credits uh oh what is this oh okay never mind yeah mail do you have any complaints about me you don't know me but I used to have your job you are in danger what quit today before it's too late you don't know enough it isn't not later if qu what Due to an error with an archival network, some of my invites be blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, bro, I'm not looking forward to this shift. <laughs> it's only Tuesday, it's just my second day at this job. Welcome. But really, I wonder, like, what am I supposed to do with these, like, random calls? And how do you get, like, proper um, accuracy with this? Uh, do you have anything new? Oh, boy. Hello. Oh, it's Carol. Carol again, your supervisor. I'm calling to let you know that you have been granted access to additional household hazard information. Okay, that's useful. Okay, you're welcome. Pr give me some useful information this time, please. Permissions have been up updated. New entries, yes. What is this? False beat. What? False beats are creatures with a beat like appearance that are no. What the hell? Hank here. That's strike two with you people. <laughs> First, you tell me there's nothing. Then you Bro. Send me the his face doesn't match his voice. I did what your info package said to do, and now there's even more critters in my yard. They're all staring at me now. They want me to... They want me to climb inside the tunnel. What? I... I must go inside. I must pay for my sins. R Bruh. What? That doesn't sound like a goper. What the f what the f? Beetroots, uh, false beet, uh, garnet, blah 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 blah. Eating them must be discussing this among disguising themselves among the vegetables. Wow, that's a that's a paranormal thing, I guess. Bless you, bro. Gotta love customers who don't do say hello. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anything you can do to uh, prevent pollen from coming in the house? I think there's something seriously wrong with my ventilation or something because I cannot stop sneezing. Uh, Bro. In the past, I haven't had problems so long as I've stayed inside, but I think something is getting in. Okay. What do you want me to do? Okay, ventilation issues? Please hold. Um, ticks, termites. What? Stair slug. What? Okay, that's creepy. Dog sized slugs. Okay, there we go. And I was wondering when we'll have to deal with something messed up. Raccoon pipe hub. What the? F pipe hubs are. Subspecies of hub that are known to be making homes inside tube like structures such as pipes. They bear no false face and are much smaller than most hubs. What is a hub? They will commonly emerge from their home at night and consume any dirt crime. They even make noises. Pipe growth. I mean, it has nothing to do with pipes. He did say it's ventilation, right? So, my guess is. Frozen pipe, fracture hub, what? Fracture hubs are a subspecies of hub. They are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls of the homes they are inhabiting. Physically smaller, okay, that's not it. Uh, desk hub. How many hubs are there? Common hub. So 
they're small humanoid creatures with gray, what the hell? Burlap like. They have no false face, what? They're also known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, uncommonly sticky substances found on floors, dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Um, cellar growths. Cellar growths are large species of fungi that are known to glow in the dark, damp, damp environments such as cellars. Homeowners and festivals commonly report a slimy residue, the sound of dripping, a stench, and strange glow. No, he didn't report anything like that. Carbon mine that my excite. Okay. Manoxide. Bad teeth? What? Oh, it's some kind of fungus. Homeowners infested with bad teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as. Okay. Bats. Black mold. Black mold sounds kind of... Black mold is a common household fungus known as a grown moist on the night. Appears frequently in uh, black spots. Black infestations frequently report a musty smell, allergic reactions. I think this is black mold this, this time. Please, bro. I want to keep this job. I need to pay my bills, bro. Black mold. Please. Please. Yes. Okay, hit me. Hit me with something else. That's not... I didn't expect a bat to make these noises, but okay. That's not what a bat sounds like, right? Like, at least... Not like... Uh, you <laughs> what? Uh oh. I think it was my, um. That call from the other day, from my first shift. But there's, like, literally, some, I feel like with some of these, there's nothing we can do. This one is creepy. Bad teeth are very kind of household fungus, known for growing in small cone-like shapes on um, underside of the bed sheets, blankets, or com comforters. Is that real? Home homeowner homeowners I can't read today infested with bad teeth often report mild discomforts when sleeping, such as tickling. How am I help? Do you know if there's such a thing as house saves that clean? Like Maybe to disguise the robbery. At night, I keep hearing all this noise coming from my living room, but when I go look at it, I find the place spotless. But haven't you found anything missing? I remember it's those humanoid the things. They keep telling me to call this number. So here I am. Is there something you can do? Bruh. Yes, I can. I'll put you on hold. Please hold. Okay, um... If I remember correctly, it was one of these things. Uh, common hub, I think. When it cleans, it absorbs stuff as well, so it makes these noises. When someone's running around. Uh, there are small schemanoid creatures with grey burlap-like skin and small vertical... tufts of hair on their head, blah blah blah. She didn't mention anything, but she did mention it was spotless. They're known for their tendency to consume dust, dirt, and commonly sticky substances found on the floor's dishes, cleaning them in the process. They generally only come out at night. Yes, I think that's gonna be common hop. Uh, common hop. Fingers crossed. Yes, nice one, bro. But the thing is, I wasn't told if the answers are accurate the last time. My accuracy was like pretty crap. So, I hope I uh, make it throughout the week. How my assist? Oh. Yo, Buzz Goober here. <laughs> Buzz Goober. Just all over the place I got these whippersnappers yelping and whining. 
pain, and then I can't get a wink of sleep. He's trying to lay down over here. What you gonna do about all this? I've called about 5,500 times, and y'all haven't done a thing about it. Bruh, did you just... Did he just hang up? Oh yes, thank you. Thank you, bro. Sometimes you get these customers, like from personal experience, when there's literally nothing, <laughs> it can nothing can be done, and like in the process they just rage quit, which is always the best. I, I don't know what's going on inside my house. I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks on my bedposts. I can't sleep at night knowing there's something in my house. Is it bad? Is it like I don't think it's a bad, right? Please hold. <sighs> um, crawling inside the walls. Um, I hear something crawling in the walls. I think I found teeth marks. I mean, it. Could, it I don't think it's bats crawling in the walls. General variety of species, la la la. Bats are, can be identified by usually large ears, la la la. Bats mostly come and find their way inside the home during the hibernation period in winter. Homeowners, bat infestors will commonly report sounds of scratching and flapping at night and sightings of small dry pellet droppings. Yeah, definitely not this one. Uh, most likely that's gonna be mice? Mice? Small. Worthless re rodents. Oh, come on. They're not worthless. Poor mice. Commonly found in the household. Homeless mother mice. Infestation. Commonly report. No marks. Small round dropping. Sounds of squeaking. Uh, there were no teeth marks, though. Right? Uh, raccoons. Often report frequent garbage spills. Clattering sounds at night. No, that's not it. I think it's something maybe supernatural. Termites, stair slug. Oh, wait. Commonly report the slimy residue. Nah, definitely not this one. Bed bugs, bed teeth. No. Bees. Uh. <laughs> Black mold, carbon monoxide. I can't pronounce that. Uh, carpenter and cellar, cellar growths. Um, slime residue, nah, not that. Come on, hop. Okay, dust hop. Um, fracture hub. Oh, there we go. Are known to cause cracks and fractures in the walls or the homes they inhabit. They are physically similar to hub statues. I don't know. Generally longer. They also be. She didn't mention anything about the cracks, though. Oh man, this one's gonna be taking some time to investigate. Uh, I mean, I think it's. I can't sleep at night knowing. Nah, nah, nah. I think I found teeth marks on my bed posts. I mean, it sounds like a, a typical m mice infestation, right? So, I might as well try that. I'm out of ideas at this point. Um, mice. Hope my accuracy won't be that low. You're saying good job, but at the end of the day, <laughs> we'll see my score. Okay, hit me. My body is ready. Ooh. Here we go, the face is becoming more and more distorted now. So no droppings, just scratches. Uh, sounds like scratchings or something. Okay, I mean mice again. No droppings though. 
Um, but again, no squeaking. Uh, he said it was in the walls, right? Um, yep, it's the wall. Termites, maybe. I don't. Uh, small. Na, na, na. Nah. Ticks. Let me check ticks. Oh, well, obviously, nah. <laughs> um. House fires. What? <laughs> Bro, your house is on fire. Gulper. Uh, frozen pipes. That's a new one. Fracture hub. False beat. Desk hub. He did say it was... Um... If the traps are not working, I've been hearing in my house lately. Um, could it be a bat maybe? Something like that? Sounds of scratching, flapping at night, and slight small dry pellet. There is no pellet droppings as well. No scratch, like... <sighs> Fine. Yeah, hey, I'm calling about a noise I've been hearing in my house lately. It sounds like scratching or something. It's real quiet. So definitely some kind of pest in my walls. I've sent out all kinds of traps, but uh, I thought one worked for a while, but then I started hearing it again this week. I thankfully haven't seen any visible damage or things or whatever yeah this is definitely a garden thing uh, raccoon frequent garbage spills clattering uh, or clattering sounds at night nah stir slug no slimy residue as well bro I wonder if I can pick the same answer multiple times Carbon monoxide. Uh, homeless effects here will often report headaches. Ooh, dizziness. Mm, I'm not sure, bro. If the traps weren't working, if this would be sometimes report buzzing, stings, or frequent bee sightings. Uh, I'm out of ideas. It's mice or whatever. Uh, only one way to find out. Uh, my small. Wait a second. Mice. Yeah. Well, there is no mice poop. There is no marks as well. So he he tried a trap that didn't work. I don't think those were mice, honestly. What? Okay, bro. I'll put you on hold. I think you're not supposed to be calling us. Um, <laughs> carbon mon monoxide. Oh, homeless affected by CEO poison will often report headaches, dizziness, or lethargy. Uh. Is there anything that can cause hallucinations or paranoia? Um, false beat. What does this do again? Yeah, definitely not false beat. I mean, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. It's not. It's not the guy. There's no point in slow security. Is a raccoon. <laughs> Um uh, <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this guy? Is it just like give him a random answer or something for him to uh Okay. 
Okay, bro. <laughs> You're saying someone's breaking in into your house, yeah? I've got just the solution. Enjoy, my friend. Enjoy. Ah, yes, another satisfied customer. Job well done. Okay, what do we have here? Your shift has ended. Accuracy 60%, bro. No way. <laughs> Don't tell me the 60% one was actually accurate. Uh, well, that's it for the first episode. Uh, I gotta tell you, it... It is interesting. It's not as creepy as I thought it would be. Like, you, you eventually start having these distortions, but I guess it's like in other analog horrors. It doesn't happen instantly, so you have to, like, survive uh, for the first, like, couple of hours or a couple of days. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah... Wolfpack, I'll see you later.